gears fixed because they've just got slight, slightly stuck and yeah hopefully the technician's going to be in today because he, he doesn't work two days a week so we'll see really pretty so we've done almost 22 kilometers just around one hour ten minutes so quite slow just before Meadow Hall I got quite lost on the trail we're in Hope Thessaly going on to the main road it's fine we're not going through Rotherham we're going just past it around on the left and instead we're going to be heading towards Barnsley but we're not going to Barnsley we're going just outside it and we're going to go to Wath upon Dern and I want to see this small town there the sign Barnsley Hoyland Common So I've stopped by this pub over there, the furnace, and I think now it's a good idea to fill up my water bottle because it's more than half empty now. I've got an emergency one on my back, but I'm leaving that one just in case. The one I have now runs out and there's no place nearby to fill it up. So I've left the furnace pub and I'm travelling down this trail next to this small stream. On the negative side I had to go through an insanely narrow and insanely rocky trail not long ago which absolutely annoyed me because I was so scared that I'll get a puncture in my tyres. On the positive side the guy at the furnace pub was extremely nice. He was called Brad. Yeah and he basically offered me not only to fill up my water bottle, but to give me some blackcurrant juice into it, put some ice, had a nice chat, absolutely lovely man. Yeah, so I'm really happy about that, but yeah, so thanks, bro. really stressful cycle for the past half an hour so it was all in the Trans Pennine Trail I'm not doing my fastest pace but now I'm back on the road I can go much faster So we've passed Volta upon Dern and now we're heading towards What's up on Dern, Doncaster, Mexborough, etc. Quite hungry, so when I get to Doncaster, I'm gonna stop, have something to eat, and carry on. So 
so I'm just making my way past the River Dern. I'm around 46 and a half kilometers in, just under two hours, 45 minutes. These trails are absolutely so frustrating. I've been so angry going along these because the bumps, the vibration, oh, it's awful. I'm absolutely starving. I cannot pedal anymore. I can't move my legs. Luckily, we've just entered Cadeby or Cadeby and I'm going to stop here for like 10 minutes. just left the pub and now I'm out again on my way to Doncaster and when I get to Doncaster I'm gonna go turn around and go back home from there which is getting late I really want to get to Doncaster because that was one of my main goals for this ride today we passed the halfway mark and definitely the first half was the more difficult half so now it's hopefully gonna get better from here See that Lambo? Only just managed to get in shot, I think. Wow, insane. Doncaster, not far away. I'm over the moon because I'm arriving in Doncaster now. It's been an amazing cycle. I've got so far. almost missed it this time so I'm heading back home now and I'm basically taking the same route I came here which will make it easier and help me be like almost twice as fast I've done 67 kilometers just above four hours we're in the woods now I'm speeding along this trail trying to get out of it as fast as possible Soon I'll be on to Station Road. another snack so I'm absolutely starving and I've been going for five hours 15 minutes got my last 10 kilometers to do so actually I was thinking about the fact that I was running out of water 
because I don't even have that much left and this is my emergency one and just like that some lady came and offered me a bottle of water from that house there and I just thought this is just such a, such a godsend because this is literally what I need right now an extra bottle of water I'm so close it's so hot it's, 30, it's been 30 degrees all day so water is literally all I need right now This is more of a mental challenge than a physical challenge has been for the past few hours. Now I'm going back home out of Sheffield Cathedral and yeah it was an amazing concert we sang Vivaldi's Gloria so I'm only a kilometre away from my house and just the last few laps of the road and I'll be there it's been such a long day six hours on my bike 103 kilometres it's been insane don't want to do it again in the next <laughs> for a few weeks. Oh, look at this. 103 kilometers, 0.69, 6 hours, 12 minutes, 20, 30 seconds. So, let's do this. Longer cycle. So, cycle over. Time to hydrate. It's been such a long day, but I've done it. 16.7 kilometers an hour average pace. 104 kilometers. Three cities, I think. Either way, we did it. It's time to enjoy this moment now. Ah. Uh, Mm. Thanks for watching.